Near the end of Thomas's branch line, there is a small station, and close by, the railway crosses a stream on a short bridge. As the snow melted, the water in the stream rose higher and higher, rushing and swirling in its hurry to reach the river at the bottom of the valley. Each time he passed the place, Percy watched the water anxiously. Don't worry, said his driver. It's got to come a lot higher before it can stop us. Percy shivered. He could remember the time when he'd been stuck in a flood. He had got very cold and very wet. Next morning, Toby came up from the harbour. No problem with the stream, he said cheerfully. The water is much lower today. That's good, said Percy. He set off happily with Annie and Clarabelle. When they stopped at the small station, Percy looked carefully at the stream. His driver went to look too. Toby was right. The water level was much lower. All's well, Percy, said his driver. Come on, we've got a timetable to keep. They hurried to the church with their hand who was waiting for them. When is Thomas coming back? asked Henry. If he does, he added, I shouldn't be surprised if he decides to stay as a museum piece. <laughs> He's old enough. He puffed away, chortling at his own wit. Annie and Clarabel were most upset. Percy had to spend so much time comforting them that he was late leaving with his next train. Percy had his tank refilled with water, and this made him later still. Never mind, said his driver. We don't need to stop at the station near the stream this trip, so there's nothing more to delay us. They reached the stream quickly, but as Percy went onto the bridge, he was six like he was moving. There was an ominous stream on the bridge side. Don't stop, Percy, shouted the driver. Keep moving! Percy didn't mean to stop, that was lucky. Clarabelle was the rear coach. As she crossed the bridge, it wobbled again. When her back wheels left it, there was a sudden loud crash. The bridge vanished. One second it was there, the next it wasn't. It was safe to stop now. Percy tried to put on the brakes and the fireman ran back to look. All he could see of the bridge was lying in the middle of the brown, rushing stream. Annie, Clarabelle and Percy were badly shaken. The guard telephoned a warning, and then they all went quickly home. The fat controller closed the line while the bridge was mended. At first, Toby and Percy enjoyed their rest, but they soon grew bored. When the bridge was repaired, Daisy had recovered from her snowy ordeal too, and things returned to normal. But for some time afterwards, Percy was 